Okay, let's do some math for fun. And today I have this equation for you guys. And we are going to find the real solutions of this. And notice this is kind of like exponential and also like quartic. Let me tell you this equation is from the 2023 Berkeley Map Tournament, the Algebra Tiebreaker. And you know the deal. Please pause the video and try this first. Done? All right. Let me tell you guys the answer to this is x equals 3 over 2. No, just kidding. 2 thirds, right? Yeah, 2 thirds is the answer. So let's see how do we do it. First, if you want to just expand it, um, it will take a while. So let's take about like 5 seconds to try to see if there's any like similarities between each parentheses. And if we do that, then you should notice 4 to the x, 8 to the x, they are both right here. 8 minus 4 happens to be 4. So in fact, this is just the sum of this and that. So to make this study easier, we can call this to be, let's say, A, and then call this to be something like B. And this right here will just be A plus B. Very nice, huh? So this equation, if we just work with A and B, it will be A to the fourth minus B to the fourth equals A plus B to the fourth. Okay, and then before we expand the right hand side, notice we can actually factor out the left hand side, and that way it's actually going to be easier. I actually try to just expand this and try to cancel out the a to the fourth power from both sides. It's not that good, okay? Let's try to factor it. On the left hand side, we can look at this as a difference of two squares. This right here as a square and then square minus b square and a square. So we factor it as a squared minus b squared as the first factor times a squared plus b squared as the second factor. And then let's just maintain the right hand side as how it is. We can continue factoring this. This is just a minus b times a plus b. And then this right here, let's just keep it as how it is. And then this right here is still a plus b to the fourth power. Now, there's one thing to notice right here. Here we have a plus b to the first power, and here we have a, to the, a plus b to the fourth power. Notice a plus b is this thing. Well, we ha that this thing is always positive. Right, not even equal to zero, it's not possible, right? Because we're four plus, this is always positive, this is always positive plus four. So this right here is always positive. So why don't we cancel one of this and now this becomes three? So if you do this, it'll be easier, right? Now on the left hand side, I'm just going to multiply this out. A times A squared, you know, things like that. So A cubed and then plus A B squared minus A squared B and then minus B cube. On the right hand side, expand the third power. Let's use the Pascal's triangle. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. So these are the coefficients. Right? So that means we will have 1 A cube plus 3 power of A go down by 1, power of B go up by 1. And then plus 3 go down by 1, go up by 1. And then lastly, 1b cube. That's pretty nice. Now we can combine like terms a little bit. a cube, a cube cancel, and uh, perhaps let me move this to the other side. Yeah, so let me just write down minus ab squared. So this will appear will be minus ab squared and then plus a squared b, so plus a squared b, and then lastly plus b cube, plus b cube, so that everything will cancel on the left hand side. And let me write down this right here first. So here we are going to get 4 a squared b plus 2 a b squared, and lastly we have the 2 b cube, and all this right here is equal to 0. Now notice we can factor out 
to b okay so to b and then we will have two two a square plus we have the a b here and then plus b square that's equal to zero now we have a product of this and that's equal to zero that means either this is equal to zero or this factor here is equal to zero so when we have 2b is equal to 0, that means b has to be equal to 0. And b equal to 0 implies that we have 8 to the x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now move this to the other side. Write 8 as 2 to the third power. So this is 2 to the 3x power equals 4. 4 is the same as 2 to the second power. So as you can see, we get 3x is equal to 2. That means x is equal to 2 thirds. And then we have our answer. But how about this one right here though? Well, I will tell you, it's impossible to get zero right here. How do we show that? We can look at this as a quadratic, maybe in terms of A. If you want to do with in terms of B, that's fine too. So if you use the quadratic formula in terms of A, then you will get negative B, which is literally this number. Right? Because it's like b times a, so negative b and then plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 and the coefficient right here which is the 2 and then the last term right here which is b square or over to this coefficient which is the 2 right here. And of course, in fact, you just have to pay attention to the discriminant here inside, right? But I just want you to write it down because the A and B is a little bit confusing because that's what we are using right there. So this is the part that we have to focus on. But notice this part right here is just B squared minus 8B squared, which is just equal to negative 7B squared. What's B? B is this. So the only way for this to end up with the real solution is B is equal to zero, so that the whole thing inside is equal to zero. But we have considered B is equal to zero right here already. So for this part, if B is not equal to zero, I'll just write this down. If B is not equal to zero, then A is going to be imaginary because this part right here, since B is not equal to zero, negative times this right here is going to be positive. So it will be negative, right? So A will be imaginary. So this right here is not real anymore. Yeah. Therefore, we are not going to have any other real solutions from this part. So the only answer is 2 over 3. And then we're done.